Maybe you like your life right now. And maybe you don't like your life right now. A lot of people in 2020 don't because of this terrible time that we've been going through. But you can have new life in Christ. And I want to talk about that right now. In, in Colossians 2, verses 6 and 7, it says, As therefore you received Christ Jesus the Lord, so live in him rooted and builded up in him and established in faith. Now, rooted. I, I ask you to think about this just a bit. Most of you know that we have a spiritual retreat called Hope Hill. It is literally built into the mountainside. They cut away part of the mountain. They put the cabin in. It's been there for 30 years. And when I first saw this, I thought, uh-oh, I thought, if it really rained, this cabin would be in the river. And then the inspectors told me, no, that's not the case because of all the trees. It is the roots of the trees that are holding the mountain in place. And it is the roots, spiritual roots, that will hold you in place. If you could see within the outer appearance of your body, you would witness an ever-renewing life taking place as new cells replace the worn ones. I often talk about life. You know, I'm not 69 years old. I'm at the oldest part of me. I'm like seven. And so are you, because every single cell has been changed out, renewed, replaced. And in a way, it's only our concept of age that keeps us old or keeps us young or keeps us limited, because we're constantly new. And when we recreate ourselves in Christ, well, that is a, a regeneration that has real power. Underlying this physical renewal is always the activity of God. The Christ Spirit within every cell inside of your mind and your body. Just as surely as new life is in you, it can be expressed through you. Think about all the mistakes all the limitations that you had that were seven years past, in the past. You don't have those anymore unless you cling on to them in memory. You are a new creature in Christ constantly. And you act from this Christ of your being, a new creation in Christ. The boring or the routine of life is transformed into the light of Christ. You put on new life in all your associations as you let the Christ in you greet the Christ in family members and friends and co-workers, realizing that they are new also. You put new life into prayer times as, as you pray from the Christ center of your being. And you're a channel for the Christ spirit to move through and to establish all good things in your life. You are a new life in Christ. And therefore, you're rooted in something that is so strong that it can't even be defined by human words or even mind concepts. It's beyond that, but it lives in you.